Hello, good morning, welcome to this vlog. I haven't vlogged in a while now, I think probably like a month, I don't know. It has been a long time, I've been so busy at work, it's tax season after all. And we're busy all year, but during these months it's extra, extra busy and there's a lot of things that I want to try out. So I'm going to try to incorporate more vlogs because I think that way I could do like more looks in one video. Um, in this vlog I plan on doing just one let's see if i it could include two but at least one and i want to do some unboxings i am um, i got some boxes last night some orders that i placed and i'm expecting another box today so i'm gonna wait till it comes and then tonight i could do an unboxing video or sit down with you guys and unbox but right now what i'm gonna do is get ready for work i do want to try the new stay foundation i'm a huge fan of stay I love that they're, they're clean beauty and their makeup is light, really easy to use, um, like for every day, just the way that I like it. And I picked up the new foundation and it is the, in shade number 7. I don't know why I got 7. Maybe in the pictures it look good, I don't know. The Glowy Super Skin Foundation Study Mills and it is made, I would say US, but hold on. Yes, it's very small, but yeah, made in the USA. It says to shake well. Um, I should put some primer first or a moisturizer because my skin it is dry. I think I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown moisturizer. I am running out. I have some left. And I want to hit the bottom. And I'll probably pick up... Probably no, I have it in my wish list already. I want to pick up another one now in the Sephora sale. I know Ulta usually has it in their 21 days of beauty. They have it 50% off. But this time around they had... <laughs> the eye enriched base not the not this one so i i didn't pick it up so i'm gonna put this all over my face i love this moisturizer it's the one that i use the most i love the way it feels the way my skin absorbs it i love the way it smells it has citrusy fresh set and it feels so good on the skin like already my skin feels soft and hydrated so how are you guys doing how is spring for you guys, I know in some places it's raining, in some places it's still snowing. Here in Florida, we've been having, we had a few days without rain, and then we got a lot of rain yesterday. Now it's just really windy. If I have a chance, I'll, I'll take some, when I finish my makeup, I'll step out when I'm outside in my car on my way to work. I'll take some footage with my phone and then um, plug it in later in this video. I'll try so you guys can see how pretty the weather is. And yeah. You guys have any plans for for the summer any vacations i don't have anything planned yet but i am i have to start planning because i i need a vacation i'll burn out <laughs> at least a weekend somewhere in a beach somewhere anyways let's start with the uh, makeup my skin is ready and just to shake well yeah i could hear it so it's gonna be liquidy i'm gonna put some rest oh it's really liquidy um two pumps really runny i don't mind but I just think it means it has a lot of water and it is kind of dark let me see maybe once like i spread it around it would be okay i don't know let's see hopefully i always say the same thing and at the end i make it work first i'll do this half and then we'll compare it to the other half and see how it changes so it is a little bit darker but once you blend it out like it's okay also, uh, Say came out with a new bronzer, or a new shade, I should say, of the bronzer, and I picked that up also. I want to try it today. And I want to try some items from Surat. It's going to be a really simple makeup look today because I don't usually go like all the way when I go to work. I, when I do wear makeup to work, it's really light. And I don't know if I'll be wearing my contacts for the rest of the day because the computer like does tires my eyes like after a while. And let's see. Let's see what I do. Oh, I got to do my eyebrows. Probably can't tell, but I could tell. Oh, it doesn't smell like anything. Oh, it smells like foundation. You know, a little bit like foundation, but no fragrance. At least none that I could detect. And you can see, like, how glowy. It is a glowy skin foundation, so it does give you a glowy skin. That much. That much is true. So far. Um, like I said, I was gonna, I'm going to come in later tonight to do the unboxing. So I'll be wearing this foundation for... I've been working long hours, so... Um, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm starting a little bit late today. But um, I should say, like, I'll probably have it on for like 12 hours because, or not 12 hours, maybe 10 hours or so. Let's see. Let's see how the day goes. I'll let you guys know the time when I sit down for the unboxing video. And uh, and you'll see how the 
foundation looks after so many hours. I see a little bit of buildup here around my nose, but that's not unexpected with me. But everything else, I like the glowiness. Really pretty. It does have some coverage, but you can still see my skin and it feels really light. I like that. And the color, I think, is going to work really well. All right, let me do the other side. All right, so there is all over the skin. I do feel that I probably have to pat it down with powder. Or maybe not. Because it looks like it's like wet. You know what I mean? Like it's radiant. Maybe it's not good for oily skin. Probably not. But I have dry skin, so I'm, I'm loving it. And I thought, well, maybe it's sticky that I would need powder. But I don't think I do, actually. Oh, by the way, I've been using the BK Beauty 101 brush. But the mini, the one that comes in the with like the travel size the travel set because as you can guess probably guess the big ones the main size are dirty so i have to wash my brushes and then i use this one because i need to use foundation brush i'm going to add some concealer i'm going to be using the same might as well since we're using the foundation this is a really light uh concealer it's creamy but it's not like super full coverage just want some brightness. I'm gonna pick up the BK Beauty. What is it? 506. Five, wow, my memory. Woo, a 506 brush. And I'm just gonna press it in like that. I really like Say. I think of all the products that I've tried, maybe the one that I least like is the loose powder. Not because it's bad, it's just I'm saying it's the least that I like. But I like it too. You know what I mean? Not, I don't hate it. I just it's my least favorite of all the products, but I love their highlighter and what's that called? The gel. All oh, that gel is wonderful. It's really nice. Like I'll put it on your foundation or on top, and it's beautiful. See, it does a job well. It's not super coverage. It's not high coverage, but it gives me some brightness. Um, let's start with the bronzer, and I like it that it's a cream bronzer because this this is so glowy that I'm afraid if I use powder, I don't know. It might like dampen the area, dampen my my skin, but let's use this. I am going to use, of course, my Sony G, Niji Pro, and let's first swatch it. It's so creamy, so soft. Um, I'll put it right here under the foundation because I still have some left. See how pretty it is? It's the lightest now of the range. And I think it's going to be great for me. So let's see. I'm going to swirl the whole brush. Because what I'm going to do is something that I... I used to not wear bronzer like many moons ago. I started wearing bronzer... Um, I think when I started using my channel. about uh, When I started my channel like maybe three years ago. Three or four years ago. And what I learned to do was like an, an E-shaped. And that's what I'm going to try to do today. I'm going to start slow because I know it's light and buildable. But I want to be careful. And just go here on this area and then I'm gonna go here on my forehead and do like an E I think that's easiest if you're starting do like two C's a C here and then a C here so it's like an E and I only pat a little bit and look how pretty that looks I do live in South Florida so I should look at least pretend that I go to the beach it's funny that I live close to the beach, like 45 minutes, an hour away because of traffic, and I never go. I'm going to go down here like to my eyes. And down here to my neck area. Look how pretty. You guys see how different, what difference it makes? I'm going to do blush and highlight after because I'm going to be using... Syrah. Well, I'm going to be using Syrah regardless. The eyeshadow I want to wear, if you saw my, I think it was my last video, I used one of the shades of the Syrah um, pods with this topper. I'm going to link that video at the end of this one so you guys can see it. It looks really nice, really pretty. A really beautiful nude. But today I'm going to use the green one. The green and like lemony color. See, there's a dual chrome because when you look at the screen, looking at the screen, it looks like it's a lime, a light, light green. But in person, it's like a, like a champagne color with a little, some specks of green. It's going to, I know it's going to be beautiful because I did swatch it. Let me swatch it again. Mixed together. Look how pretty that looks. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply the, the balmy green 
all over the lid and then I'll apply the shimmer and I'm gonna use my finger so let's go with this eye first so I'm gonna apply all over the lid but the shimmer I'm gonna apply it only halfway and you'll see why because you could use it's really like three colors because if you use the bomb by itself you see that it's green and then if you use a shimmer by itself it's that lime color yellow but when you mix it together it's beautiful so it look it's gonna look like I have a green like the outer half of my eyelid is gonna be green take it all the way here to the crease and to the brow bone so it's gonna look green but then I'll have that shimmer in the middle in the in the inner corner inner half and it's gonna be really nice look how easy that blends is this like perfect for traveling look how gorgeous and that bomb is gonna serve like a primer so the shimmer on top is gonna stick and it's gonna stay there all day because that's what happened last time and then add more of that balm in the outer half I love it I have a lot of plans for this channel like a lot of makeup that I want to try and videos that I want to do so like I said at the beginning because of my my um, busy schedule at work and sometimes all of a sudden I'll get you know sick I'll get um I'll get what I call an event. I'll get some cellulitis in my legs and then I can barely, I can't do anything when I have that. I can barely do anything. I can't get to work or nothing. I can't go to work. I can't drive, nothing. And that just makes it, makes me even more, um, even more constrained because then I have more work to do when I get back to the office. So what I mean is, what I want to get at is that I want to do more vlogs because in vlogs, I could incorporate, you know, more makeup look. Unless it's something really specific like the Suku collection or Pat McGrath that it's more items or something like that, uh, uh, something really, really special. Not that these pieces aren't special, but they're just different brands incorporated together. I think you know, understand what I'm saying. If I have to do, if I think it's better to do a sit down video and a dedicated video, then it'll be a dedicated video. But for things like this, which is, oops, which is just getting, get ready with me, trying new makeup and all that or unboxings I'm gonna do more vlogs I think I could do two or three things three or four things in one video and it's just more entertaining for you guys and actually and also a little bit easier for me so I hope you guys like that let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys look forward to if you are okay with that or if you just prefer sit down makeup videos I know I've asked this, I've asked this before and some of you were uh, left comments and told me that they, they like vlogs they like to go with me wherever I go um so you know just I just want to ask and make sure that this is something that you guys enjoy on my day to day my life isn't really too fun because I go to work I'm an accountant I sit in front of a computer I meet clients I do numbers I can't really show you what I do because of confidentiality confidentiality Conf because of our, I, my 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 client's information is confidential, so confidentiality. I know how to spell it. <laughs> I just can't say it right now. Um, and I don't show you what I'm doing out of respect, but it's, it's boring for the most part. It's numbers and stuff like that. And look how pretty that looks. Oh, those eyes. Very spring. Um, so I don't take you to work, but if I go out, we go, I go out somewhere really nice. And of course I'll take you guys with me and I'll incorporate it in a vlog. If there's some news, really important news, something I want to share, a, a really, uh, unboxings, interesting purchase, something big that I want to share. Of course, I'll take you guys with me. I'll show it in a vlog. So the next thing I want to try, I have my eyes shadows done. I'm going to do my mascara in a second, but I want to try this from Surat. They sent me... Oh, these pods were sent to me in PR, by the way. And they sent me also this powder sh uh, blush and liquid blush. I'm going to use both. Let's start with a uh, Cantaloupe Artistic Liquid Blush. I'm going to start with the liquid to kind of set the base. And then I'll try the, the, the powder blush. And this has like a twisted thing, but it's not coming out yet. I'm going to take some of the tip and swatch it here and see. Get an idea how pigmented it is. Oh, how pretty. It's like a peachy color. Look how... How it's absorbed and it looks like part of my skin. Let me see, I'm gonna do my finger. Um, just here on my cheeks. 
What if I do it with this bunch thing? Is that hygienic? Probably not. I think like the sponge is just absorbs most of it. I'm gonna put it on with my finger. I'm gonna use my Sonia G jumbo base and just press it in. Take it all the way to the temple. My forehead. Ooh, it's really pretty. And because I have that glowy foundation, it, the blush is like really absorbed into my skin and it looks, it looks really natural. Now I'm gonna try that. I don't know if I need it, but I'm gonna try it. The powder one, this was in the shade Cantaloupe as well, the Artistic Blush. This one's a little bit more pigmented, I remember. It's more orangey, so I'm gonna go really light with that same brush. I'm just gonna pop it in, pop it, pat it a couple of times, and then go here. It's really pigmented. I think I will like it just by itself, the liquid blush. And then here I went overboard. So I'm just gonna pat it down, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it, pat it. I'm gonna go back with a foundation brush. And tap in this area, this cheek. There we go, perfect. Hmm. It's something that I I use when I go a little bit overboard. I just go back with a foundation brush and it, it really helps out. And that's it for blush. All right, so let's finish up with some mascara and lipstick. Oh, and highlight. I don't have a brand new highlight to try. So what I'm gonna do, I have here the Danessa Myricks B, what are they called? I want to remember the names, but I just can't. Vision, Vision Flush in the shade Tiara is the one I want to use today. Yeah, let's do this first, and then I'll do the mascara. I'll just add a few drops here. I'm using my camera as a mirror, <laughs> but I'm not really, I'm not really seeing what I'm doing. Just go like that. I love this highlight I said Danessa Marix right yeah Danessa Marix I really love it because it's that wet look that I love and then take it away to the brow bone mm -mm. so pretty and then get some for my nose here got some shimmer down here but I just clean it off I love it. I'm loving, loving, loving this foundation. Okay, let's go on with the mascara. I'm going to be using the Surat mascara. I've been using this in quite a bit. I don't curl my lashes. My lashes are, are pretty good in general. And I don't curl my lashes. I'm actually scared of the curler. I know it's dumb, but I'm scared of that curler. I know it's all mental. I think I'm going to rip out my lashes. Um, I'm going to have to start using it and learning how to do it, but... I don't think I need it per se. This mascara doesn't really like open up my lashes. It doesn't fan out my lashes, but it does give me length. And I have a loose hair here. I want a, a rebel lash here I had to take out because it's ruining my look. So you see, it just gives me a like length. I don't know if you could see actually. I have it on this one. And I like it that it's like a really thin wand. And it's not really, it's not a wet formula, so it dries up pretty quickly. I like to look when I apply mascara, like press it in, like press down my eye like I'm closing my eyes. I think that helps and I try to get the closest I get to the, to the waterline, to the root of the lash. And then just press it in with my eye, like I'm trying to close my eyes. And a little bit in the bottom, not too much. There you go. It's a really pretty mascara. Not for lips. I don't have any lipstick, but I do want to try. I want to put on this one today from the Clidipe, from the new lipsticks. This one is in shade Calanthe Orchid. I think I used this last week. I don't know. I love it. I love this shade, and it's glossy. So it's really pretty. 
and good for my dry lips. Although their matte formula is also really comfortable. But I like this shade because although I'm not a huge pink fan, this is not like too pink. It has a little bit of peachiness into it, like a little bit of brown into it. And it makes like the perfect nude. And it's such a lovely, lovely formula. I think it goes great with the eyeshadows. I think it looks great with the eyeshadows. What do you guys think? I'm not going to do my eyebrows or nothing like that. And I think I'm... I think I'm done. You know what I'm going to do? I don't know. Should I use some setting spray? No. Because I want to use... I want to do a full day wear test of this foundation. Let me see. It doesn't feel sticky. And it's beautiful. It looks really pretty as of now. I've had it on for almost an hour. Um, half an hour. And I don't see no not, the weirdness over my nose i kind of dissipated and it blends in really well and it's it worked well with the other products i put on it is beautiful and the shade is is really nice a little bit darker than my skin but i made it work i brought it down to like my neck and i think it looks really beautiful what do you guys think oh let me know down below if you tried any of these products, it would be nice to know. And I'll see you guys later for some unboxings. I want to share with you guys what I got. See you. Hello. I'm back. I'm here in the car, obviously. I wanted to... I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it, but I could do it for like a few minutes. I'm on the way to work. The, the road is closed up ahead, or at least there's a... What's that called? I forgot the word. Like a deviation detour. There's like a detour and there's some construction going on. So anyways, it's really sunny today. There's like a glare, so I apologize for that. Uh, I try to put the camera on the phone the best that I can, but there is a glare. It's really sunny today, really nice, beautiful. I'm going to turn around the camera and the phone in just a second. But uh, I just want you guys to see this makeup in natural lighting. It is so beautiful. That foundation, I'm loving it so far. Again, it's early to say it's going to be good for the whole day, but I'm loving it so far. You know, my, my dry skin loves glowy foundation but it's not like super glowy that you know i'm gonna cause an accident you know i'm gonna cause a, a real glare to people but it's really nice feels comfortable i feel like i have nothing on um i do feel like the eyeshadow and the mascara like i feel that i have makeup on but what i mean is i feel like i don't have foundation on and and it feels really really good i'm sorry it bounces i can't control the street and um it's the way i have the tripod the little thing that i have on my dashboard so I just wanted to check in, show you guys this beautiful makeup in natural lighting. I'm going to get to a red light now so I could stop and show you, do a close-up. It is really pretty. See, we lift this. Well, if you lift this, we see this, but there's more sun coming in um, under trees now, but look how beautiful. And there in the sun, you see it? It's gorgeous. So I'm on the way to work and I'll see you guys later. Maybe I might go out to lunch with a co-work today. We usually do on Fridays. So um, it's probably it's going to be like an olive garden or something because it's close to our job and we like it. It's fast service, good food, affordable prices. And it's something to have a, a quick lunch with a co-worker of mine. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll check in. Bye. All right, guys. I forgot to show you how beautiful the day is. I don't want to bring it down because I'll show off my um location but look at the sky how gorgeous love this weather so pretty and it's windy too back 
so it's about eight o'clock where's my phone let me tell you show you the time it is 801 exactly 801 and i just came from work i want to show you how the foundation is stunningable the makeup in general you see the eyeshadows are still there and the mascara like my eyelashes have you know dropped a little bit but it's been almost 12 hours so it's been a long time almost like 11 hours because i started i finished my makeup like around 10 so let's say 10 so it's almost almost 12 hours almost 11 hours it's been a while but you could see that the foundation has worked really nice during the day and i'm tired can you tell <laughs> look at my eyes i'm so tired i didn't take off my contact so look at my um the highlighting it's so pretty it's still there i still have some some color in my in my cheeks some blush so the makeup today has been really nice and i'm really happy that i was able to get my hands on it it's a really good foundation and, and yeah and the bronzer yeah but the bronzer was very subtle very light i don't have much left or at least i can't tell but i could tell on this side especially that i have you know the blush and the highlight because i do touch my face a lot especially my, my left hand side and yeah i have the highlight and i have the blush like it, it's pretty good the foundation is really really nice so what i want to do now with you guys is show you my boxes my purchases everything i i think it's all purchases there's no pr and i'm gonna start with the box that i got today this is from sephora oh by the way i wanted to tell you guys this morning and i forgot and now i remember because i saw the, the the box and i remember to ask to ask you guys the Sephora Spring Sales event is coming. It's almost here. It's in April. Starts in April, April 11th. April 14th for VIB. Or for Rouge, I'm sorry. All the way to April 24th. I'm thinking I already have most of most of the things I wanted to talk about or that I want to recommend. I do have them in my, my shop. In my shop, um, I have it set up there in a, in a shelf. But I wanted to ask you guys if you want me to do a video talking about my recommendations let me know in the comments down below and if you guys prefer a video or just me sending you the link of the products that i recommend and i think i'm gonna do it like i want to do a video but it's up to you guys if you guys want me to do it so i could have waited for the sephora sale to get this what i wanted to order but it's something spanking new and i didn't want to wait for two weeks to, to use it and it's the new lip oil by Rare Beauty. I love Rare Beauty. I love her concealer. I love her blush, her highlight. Uh, what else I love? Like the mascara. I love a lot of things from the brand. So I, of course I wanted to try the Soft Paint Tinted Lip Oil. I picked up two shades. Honesty and Joy. I'm not going to swatch anything today because then I don't want this video to be long. But definitely I'm going to put it in a get ready with me. Like I said earlier, I want to do more get ready with me vlogs or incorporate more get ready with me within the vlogs and i'm definitely gonna put this in a get ready with me maybe i'll use it on the next one when i go to naples i gotta see i'll, I'll see the next thing is from oh from selfish this is the suku this i'm gonna do a dedicated video probably i'm gonna film it tomorrow most likely because tomorrow saturday is when i usually do the makeup the like this the dedicated videos it's when I have more time to film uh, the weekends, of course. So I am going to use this tomorrow and it will be my next video. Definitely. You'll, you'll see that very, really soon in my channel. Really excited about this because it is beautiful and I love Suku. How this comes in a cute pouch. Alright, so I ordered the whole collection. I have here the Pure Color Blush. The two new blushes in the shades. It's probably in Japanese yeah um kafu and hyungawi hyungawi i guess i'm sorry if i'm butchering that i don't mean to let's just take everything everything out of the box and then i'll sh just show it to you i'm not gonna swatch okay so that's this is um and i just got rid of the box now the back of the case doesn't tell you it tells you the blush 139 but it doesn't tell you the name and I just threw the way I just threw the box literally right now. But regardless, um, this should give you an idea. Oh, it's so pretty. Really pretty. And it comes with a little brush that I never use. I never get keep. And I love the case. Very, very suku-ish. Like most of their I think most if not all their makeup is like the same packaging. 
And then this is the other blush. Oh, this is pretty. It's like sunshine in a blush. And then let's go with the quads, which is the next big thing. I picked up both quads. I couldn't decide on which. I'm not going to make the same mistake, so I'm going to open one by one. This is Show. Okay, it's Show Jitsuki. There you go. S H O U, then J. Show Jutsuki. Okay, these do say the names in the back. Show Jutsuki number 123. I love the packaging. Ooh. This is the one with the purple and the yellow. It's gorgeous. That shimmery champagne color is so pretty. And then the other one is Nishirinha 124. I do apologize if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I don't know any Japanese, just very few words here and there. Like thank you and hi and bye, you know, the regular things, normal things. This is the one that caught my eye first because I do love green, can't you tell? Green is my favorite color. Look at that shimmer. Oh my goodness. I don't want to swatch it because I, I want to take pictures for Instagram. Isn't that gorgeous? That one is like, wow. At least for me. Oh, how pretty. Now I have, I'm going to have trouble deciding which I want to use first. I can't use both in the same look. So I'm going to have to do two separate videos. Maybe I'll do one as a dedicated video. And then and then I'll use the other one to get ready with me. Because I won't have time tomorrow to do to both. You know, take put on the makeup and then take it off. And I personally don't like that because I want to enjoy the look. Unless I do the video in two separate days, then then maybe I could do that. But because of my, my time constraint, I don't think I can. All right, the next thing I picked up, I'm, I'm talking a lot today, are two new Suku Tone Touch Eyes. And the one that just threw away the box does not have a name behind it. It's the number 112, and the other one is 113 Kayasaki. But maybe you guys don't really... It'll be easier for you guys to remember the number instead of the the name. So this is, and they're the only ones, so it's not like you're going to get confused. There's only two. I think this is a new product for Suku. At least I haven't, I've never seen anything like this in their website, and the Selfridges website. I think like all these products, most, if not all, are made in Japan. If I see one that is not, I'll let you guys know. But I'm pretty sure they're all made in Japan. And what I've seen so far, 12 months shelf life. And let me show you the eyeshadow. The other eyeshadow is very similar to what I wear this morning. Like the same idea. It's like a balmy eyeshadow. So I'm going to look and see how I incorporate this in my look. I got this one. I got both of them. I like this one best. Better. It's like a mustardy caramel cover. And then finally the two lipsticks shades are, it's a Suku Vibrant Rich Lipstick in the shade 117 Natsugasumi. And the other one is 116 Hana Dai Dai. I like that name. Hana, Hana Dai Dai or Hana Dai Dai. I think it's Dai Dai. Okay, there's two Hana Dai Dai. Ooh, how pretty. Don't worry, I'll do the swatching in that video in the future, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't if you haven't subscribed yet. And this one's 117. They don't have any fragrance, do they? No, all I smell is the, my hand soap because I washed my hands when I came from work. No, I don't see anything. This one's a little bit lighter. I don't know if these lipsticks are like summer because this is the pre-summer collection, but the eyeshadows are summerish. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in the little bag. I think I'm going to put everything in a little bag so I know this is like the new new. The Rare Beauty. Actually, I didn't take them out of the box, so I'm going to do that now and just get rid of all the boxing sticks. That's something that I, that I, when I get boxes, like the first thing I do is throw away everything. And then afterwards, I, sometimes I don't even know what the names of the things are, the shades are, because I throw away the boxes. But I just, I have so little space that I cannot have boxes hanging around, you know. So they're, the packaging is very similar to... Uh, her other stuff her other products and that's all right very pretty colors Th these are what did i say it's honesty and joy it's honesty and joy 
she came out with is it six or eight a few a few shades and i only got to to try the formula because maybe i don't like the formula but i'll let you guys know very soon all right let's see what else we have here i'm gonna speed it up because this video with a with um the morning makeup and all that it's gonna be a little bit too long the next box is from uh sisley sisley had a family and friends event 20 percent off so i ordered a new product with my sales rep leanne she is in the uh, las vegas boutique and i know they came out with like new perfumes so i asked her for samples because i just wanted to test them i never smelled them before so if i like any of them then i'll just purchase the, the full the full size but before i do that i want to smell them you know okay she sent me all the samples the perfumes yes sample of the um, exfoliating enzyme mask which i do have the full size i use it once a week it's really nice and this is the triple oil balm makeup removal and cleanser i also have the full size it's not my favorite makeup remover but it's not my favorite makeup remover but it does a it does a nice job it does a nice a good job so it's good to have it like for travel whenever i get to travel again whenever it's my next trip all right so what i ordered i'm gonna show you what i ordered first and then i'll show you the i'll try the samples it is they came out with a new targeted dark spot corrector and it is quite pricey it is 60 paris 60 paris skincare makeup is on the on the you know the expensive side but i do think they're very worth it because all their makeup have skincare infused and the skincare is all really good and all you need is like a little bit to go a long way so this is the dark targeted dark spot corrector so it's kind of a concealer but it's more than a concealer it is visibly it says it visibly diminishes the size and intensity of all dark spots after 15 days you could use it in morning evening on dark spots on the face neck decollete and hands honestly what i really wanted to use this for is not much for my face but for my hands because i do have like little like little dark spots not they're not big but i want to get them before they get bigger or at least you know try to do something about it i have a few here in my hand they're not big but they're there right here and they're kind of bothering me and i'm gonna look to see if i have like other areas where i need correction in my skin but it's mostly i got it from my hands so i'll let you guys know i'm gonna try them out and I'll let you guys know how I think, how I like it in a future video. Alright, so Sissy Paris is coming out or came out with six perfumes or the toilettes. They call it the collection Les Heures Rêves. I'm sorry, I'm trying to say it in French. Les Heures Rêves. The Dream Waters? Rêves Dream? I'm not sure. I think it is Dream. Whatever. The first one is Alma. Um, I could get rid of this. Yeah, I'll get rid of this. I don't want to spray them now because then ugh, I want to have to. Let me put it in the back of my hand. Maybe I should do it in the air. Mmm. This one's very citrusy. Like morning. It, it, for, for perfume, for me to describe them, the best way to, for me to describe them is tell you how it makes me feel so what i think of when i smell it it's masculine it's crisp it's it's waking up it's like in the morning i'm walking outside to a yard full of grass and like flowers and sunshine that's what i'm thinking it's masculine it's citrusy it's very fresh i like it i like it i'm not gonna say i'm gonna buy it but i like it maybe i will buy it i have to smell the rest now this this fragrance is gonna be in the air it's lingering it's really nice isa or isa they don't describe what they are oh that one's in the air i won't be able to spray this one because they're gonna get mixed so i'm gonna put it maybe i should put it in the card just a little bit there are samples okay this one is fresh more feminine than the first one it's not as masculine it's fresh it's a little bit fruity a little bit fruity like i'm not fruity like sweet that's what I meant, but this one smells nice too. <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. I can't, I'm thinking what, what can I compare it to, and I can't think of any perfume that I could compare it to. Okay, I'm gonna keep the card so I could think about it. The next is Aria. Okay, this one I'm smelling. Oh, I smell it at the end. Okay, I'm gonna spray more because this one, um, I'm gonna have to smell them separate in different days because it's lingering in the air. Really nice. Okay, that, this one is really subtle, very light. Very spring, summer. 
They it also smells fresh, but this one's more. It's also sweet, but more citrus. It's more citrusy than the second one. I don't know because it, it dissipates. Oh, it smells good too. Oh my god, they're making my my life much much harder. The next is Elijah, and oh, this is like what the bottles would look like. Just that they they will have a, like a different design paper. Elijah, let's see. I'm a, I have a feeling this is more like jasmine or something or lavender. Oh, this is a has a little bit of at at the end like a little pottery. A little. I should look online for the the notes. I should have done that in the beginning. It's gonna help me describe it to you guys. Isa, it is floral, luminous, and warm. Yes, it's. A, I I did say it was like not not as masculine, but yeah, it's warm and it's um, floral, luminous, and warm. Okay. And Aria is described as spicy, fruity, and sen fruity and sensual. Yeah, this is when I told you it was more fruity. And now that it's dissipated, it is sexy. The first one was Alma, right? Yeah, the first one, fresh, aquatic, and clean. And then Elijah is floral, exotic, and bright. I do smell like flowers, like like going out in a garden full of flowers. Um, I, I I love them all. I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. Okay, <laughs> and I have to try it on myself on my skin. Hubert is fresh, green, and botanical. And when time passes by and it dissipates, it's it changes a little bit and it just gets better. Hubert. Yeah, oh, Hubert is green, definitely. It's very grassy. I don't like this for me. I'm going to let it sit for a minute, but it's very grassy. Yeah, not for me. So there's one. There's one I'm not getting. And the last one is Econ. Is that how you pronounce it? Econ. It's all oh, spicy, woody, and wild. must be masculine. I like, I like woody, but for my husband, not for myself. Let's see. Oh, I smell it. Oh, oh. No, I don't like it either. Not for, not for to have it on you know it smells this is what i think of it reminds me like when you go into like a, a leather shoe store a leather goods store because it doesn't say leather but it's spicy woody and wild so it's that that leathery masculine cigar kind of it's not for me so hubert and ikar are not for me and now i have four more to choose from and they are really lovely honestly I wouldn't be able to, I don't know which one to choose. If I were to choose right now, I don't know. So I'm going to try it on my skin with my pH and see how that works. Ice is okay. Elijah smells really good. Like feminine, summer, some fruitiness, but it's not like super sweet. Hari is okay. And Alma, I threw away the box, but I have the spray. So let me see. Elijah, I think it's my favorite one. Elijah, yeah. It does, as time goes by, it does change. So again, I'm going to try it on my skin, see how it works. And let's move on. Have you tried any of these perfumes? They are relatively new. Like, I, they, I don't think they've been on that long. But let me know if you tried them. And which one's your favorite one? I'm curious to know. What are your tastes? And what are you guys liking? So I'm going to put the samples aside. And I'll put those later away. Okay. I have one box from By Terry. So by Terry had well, they had a sale on their website, and I did get something from the Beautylish gift card event. But uh, in their website, they were having a twenty percent off or fifteen percent off or something, and I picked up an item or two. Let me show you. Okay, so I have a sample of the balm, the rose cream, and this is a sample of the Brightening Sea Serum. I know um, this is Sunny Flash. The one I have and I love, by the way, is Glowing, what's it called? White Rose. I love this CC Brightening Cream. So I picked up, I, I chose a sample of another shade. I'm going to use it as like a balm, um, a bronzer, I mean. And what I picked up from By Terry was the Brightening CC Liquid Blush and the Brightening CC Luminizer. So let me take this out of the box and just show you guys briefly how it looks in case you haven't seen it. So this is the blush and then let me show you the luminizer. I believe what I got in the gift card event was another shade of the blush. Look how pretty that packaging is. I like it. So let's put those in the bag. <laughs> Okay, the last two boxes I want to show you are the items I ordered from the Beautylish gift card event. So I placed two orders. I don't remember which I ordered first, 
but I'm just gonna open the bigger box first. I ordered two orders because when I place after I place the first one, there's a few more items that I wanted to pick up. So yeah, now I'm gonna go and once it's available, I think it's April 3rd, then I'll be able to get my gift card. I think I got like a hundred bucks and um I already know in mind what I wanna get. But let me show you first the boxes. The box was inside this one at least. I love Beauty Lish, like their shipping is so fast. And yeah, I don't like the fact that you have to purchase and then you get the gift card for a future purchase. I personally don't like it. But at the end, it's like having 20% off. And they have brands that you probably can't find anywhere else. Alright, so here's all the goodies that I ordered. And let's start. I think this is my second box, the second order. But that's alright. I'm going to take out everything. It'll be easier for me. I got a mix of like makeup, skincare, a bunch of perfume. I ordered this from Susan Kaufman, the body, face, and scalp wash. I want it for my body, really. And I love her hand, um, exfoliating hand products and hand creams. I have a foot cream. They're really nice. And I also picked up from Susan Kaufman, the refining scalp and body scrub. Again, I'm going to use it for my scalp, for my body. But I might use it for my body, for my, I'm sorry. I need some coffee or something to wake me up. I'm definitely going to use it for my body, but I might use it for my scalp. I got to see. I'm going to open this up and show you. I'm going to use this maybe tonight or tomorrow. This is what the scalp looks like. I saw this because after I saw Michelle Wong's video, she talked about this. I'm like, you know what? I want to try it. I'm going to try this. And then this, I've always had it in my wish list. And I like it because it's like glass. Although it's kind of scary for the, having it in the shower. But I'll put it in the floor just in case so I won't drop it. Um, what does it smell like? I want to know what it smells like. Mm, it doesn't have any fragrance, actually. Mm, this is citrusy. I ordered this perfume from Jo Malone. I love the packaging. I love the perfumes. I have a, a few of them. One of my favorite is grapefruit. But... This is a new scent. I'm kind of like risking it. There's something else that Michelle Wong uh, recommended. And this is the Moonlit Camino Pillow Mist. So it's not a perfume. It's a pillow mist. I gotta see if it's nice for the for the, for the pillows. Oh, wow. I would wear this, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. I look weird because in the video, I probably look weird. But oh, it smells... At first, it's citrus. And then it's like masculine and... I don't know how to describe it. It smells delicious. There's no description on the box. It just says moonlit chamomile pillow mist. Oh my god, it smells so good. I think I'm going to spray it like all over the room. Because it makes the room smell good. Okay, I picked up this from Careways. Another recommendation. This second box was after Michelle Wong's recommendation video. This is a product. I had this in my wishes actually. But when she talked about it, then I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. I am missing... Okay, let me show you first what it is, and then I'll show you what I'm missing, which I plan on getting with a gift card. Because it was $20 out of every 100 so I wanted to get closest to the round number as possible. So I picked up the Kiwi's Beautiful Night Potion. She raised about this product. You're supposed to add it like, um, probably like the last step in your skincare routine, nighttime skin routine, and then you ended up with a the oil. And the oil is the one I'm missing, and I want to get with the card. I like Kiwi's because they're clean, but what I do find that because they're clean and they use natural product natural ingredients that they do tend to go bad faster so i do have to use this up before like a year or maybe two what is the shelf life on this 12 months so i have to use it before that looks kind of weird it's gray but i will try it let you guys know it works it works for her i gotta see if it works for me and then to get to the round number because i wanted to take advantage of the 20 dollars extra 20 dollars I picked up a Good Molecules Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. This is affordable, $12, $14. And I sunscreens always come handy, especially now in the summer. You can never have enough sunscreens. And I do want to try it. I do like mineral sunscreens, physical sunscreens. So I am going to try this. All right, so let's open the first box, which was my first order. The small box, which was my first order. And this one is now with any wrapping paper. This is what I ordered. I got here something from Kiwi's, their mascara, which I've never tried. It was sitting in my wish list, so I took advantage now of the sale. 
I got some, you know, I've spoken about the Kogan Do Cleansing Water, which is like my favorite to in between swatches, even for my, to remove makeup from my face. I've used it before. I picked up some of the makeup remover cloth for when I do swatches and also for traveling. I think it's very handy. So I picked that up. And then here is the other High Cherry uh, blush, which is the shade that I, I i go look now but this one is i didn't give you the shades this is rosy flash and then in by terry i got sunny glow okay now i from the beautylish gift card event i also picked up from surat i picked up the hinoki cleansing oil and the hinoki facial mist i've heard very good things about this and of course i wanted to get it in a sale so here it is oh by the way i just today i got a code with surat and I'm going to put it in my description box. It's simply D15. And you'll get 15% off your order. I don't think... Well, the link that I have there is affiliated. But the code... I don't, I'm not affiliated with the code. I don't think so. It's just for you guys. So if you have something in mind in Surat. Surat is an amazing brand. It's what, you know, from this morning. is what I have on my eyes. Um, you could use my code and get 15% off. I think it's amazing. I just got it today after towards like um in the middle of the day i got the code i shared it on instagram and now i'm sharing it with you guys and i'm gonna have it always in my description box so i think it's very nice from surat for doing that for us for you guys and i picked up the pastel plexi glow highlighter highlighter what is this from it doesn't tell me what brand it is who did i order a highlighter from oh i remember now the natasha denona it's not new it's been out for a while but i never picked it up before so i'm gonna pick it up now the pastel plexi glow highlighter highlighter so i wanted to give it a try especially now in a sale i love the color green my favorite color and this is what it looks like but it's supposed to be really brightening so i'll give it a try if you haven't seen it before uh, but regardless it's new for me so for me it's gonna be like something new so a new toy to play with and finally i got some brushes I don't remember where I got brushes. Oh, it's one brush. Yes, I remember. I was doing a video and I remembered that I already have this brush and I ordered it. I wasn't thinking of ordering it again, but now I have a backup of the Sonia G Jumbo Bronzer. It's a really good brush. I love it. Really soft, beautiful bronzer blush. That's it, right? Those were my orders. I got a lot of stuff. You guys should see my vanity. It's so messy, but I honestly don't have space. I try to keep it as organized as I can, but I have so much products to try. And if I don't see them, I don't remember that I have, like, it reminds me that I have to try them or you know, something that I have to try for a brand because a brand, I'm collaborating with a brand or something. If if I don't see it, I forget and I pass a deadline and I want to do it. I don't want to do that. I want to be, I want to uh, comply with the deadlines that I'm given. So yeah, those were my orders. Let me know if you tried any of it. Let me know what you think about this look. It's been almost, it's been like 11 hours and the foundation is still, you know, I think it's, it's not as fresh as in the morning, of course not, but I think it's really nice. Lately, um, there was one foundation that was, didn't work for me. Oh, the KVD one did not work for me. I tried it again and it does not, it does not work for me, but the one I tried before, the, um, Guerlain Terracotta is really, really nice. It's like having silk. It's like having a silky face. A silky skin is really nice. This one is really nice too, but for me, it's more like... I like to go to work, the weekend, and the Guerlain is more like for a, a nicer event, if you know what I mean. But they're both lovely. And I just can't get over this mist because I smell it. It's lingering. It smells so good. And I can't wait to try everything. This video is going to be super, super, super long. I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you like this type of videos. If you want me to do more vlogs, let me know. Because I know I do this for me because I love it. But I, I do it mostly for you guys. So it's whatever you guys want to see. Whatever you guys like. Let me know. Because at the end, I do this all for you. Most of it, I do it for you. <laughs> and for me too. This is all I have for now. I think it's been long enough. And... My next video would be most likely another makeup video. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.